Good morning, friends. It is Tuesday, the 27th of February, the day after my birthday, and it was a wonderful day. I've invited a friend of mine to come over for coffee tomorrow morning, and uh, in anticipation of that, I'm going to be making a sour cream coffee cake. And I'm using the recipe from my Betty Crocker cookbook. Um, it is well used, well loved. When I went to handle it this morning, about 20 pages fell out, so it's a, it's a favorite book, and I've got notes in it and everything. I will put the recipe for this down below, okay? So I'm starting out here. I've got my dry ingredients here ready to be sifted, a couple of eggs. Here is the butter and the sugar. I'm going to add a few blueberries, so I'm thawing them, and I've sprinkled some flour and a little bit of sugar over. I'm also going to marble a little bit of cinnamon sugar through and zest just a little bit of lemon. And the cake calls for one cup of sour cream. I bought a bottle of real van uh, vanilla the other day. I usually use the extract and I'm used to the flavor of that, but I thought, well, give this a try. So I'll put a couple of drops of pure vanilla extract in here too. All right, here goes. At this point, I'm going to fold the coated blueberries in, very gently into the uh, coffee cake batter. Just kind of fold it over. Now I'm going to sprinkle the uh, cinnamon and sugar mixture over top of the cake, or over top of the batter. All the way around. And then just take a butter knife and kind of swirl it. And then this is going to go into a 350 degree oven for at least 45 minutes. It's a very dense cake and then I will test it at that point. Done. Looks good and it smells good. <laughs> All right, here's the dicey part, getting the cake off of the pan and onto the plate. So hang on there, let's see what happens. I did take a butter knife and go around the stem, or the, the uh, funnel here in the middle and then underneath it, but... Okay, the 
let's see what happens. All right, here we go. On to the plate. Okay. <laughs> no damage done. I'm going to let it continue cooling now and then um, prepare a lemon glaze for it.